I made a decision that's kind of crazy for me because I'm a person that uses tech until it blows up or goes away. But for $25, I was able to upgrade from the Pixel 6 to the Pixel 7, and I just couldn't let it go. I got this phone on Black Friday, $100 off, plus if I trade in my Pixel 6, then it's $25. The reason why I did that is because I'm going to get more years to support with Pixel 7. It's a slightly better camera configuration because all my videos are starting to go to the phone for availability and because it's just so much better than the cameras out there. Check out the videos on that comparison coming soon. I understand they've extended the deal through the holiday season, $100 off. So act now in the next month or so and you'll probably be able to get the same deal I did. But in order to get this great deal, you got to get your new phone, set it up, transfer the data from one to the other. Another video, post up there if you're interested. And then you got to ship this phone back. And it's got to be in pretty good shape. Now mine's in pretty pristine shape because I took care of it, put a protector cover on it, and it made all the difference in the world. So we'll go to a top-down shot and get into all the details of how we're going to send this guy back. When you buy the Pixel 7, they'll send you an additional box through the mail to return the Pixel 6. They just sent me a reminder that I need to get it in to make sure that I get the value for this phone. I only had it for as long as the Pixel 6 was out. The first thing you need to do is transfer all your information, apps, all that stuff from the Pixel 6 to the Pixel 7. It's pretty easy. Got a video up there if you need it and down below to help you out. And once you've done that, put this phone over here because they look pretty similar because you don't want to ship the wrong phone back. You got the box you pull off the label carefully, and then there will be another label on which to send back the phone. You open it up. There's the tape that you need. Put this to the side. You'll have a nice little thing here that shows you how the steps to do it. And this is where you'll ultimately put your phone. It's important to follow all these steps, and that's why I'm kind of doing this video, because it's not clear to everybody in order to get full credit for your phone. So we have the phone. I've got it plugged in because it's kind of only got 20%. In my case, you go to Settings, System, Reset Options, Erase All Data, Factory Reset, Erase All Data. Enter your security pin. Once you've entered your pin, it will give you one last chance. Erase it. Factory Data Reset. Let's do its thing. After a couple minutes, you're at the basic level, shut the phone down, and then go to your Pixel 7, and you'll see this little tool here. Take it out, and this is how you pop out your SIM card, just like that. On some phones, the SIM card will pop out, and then you have to put this back in. But in the case of Pixel 6s, it looks like it's all one thing. Just slide your phone in goes in like that. Now you can fold it over if you want. We just kind of put them in like this. Bent it over just a little bit so that it would fit in there without a lot of move from it back and forth. Peel this double-sided tape cover off. Push down on that nice and tight and then bring that down like this. So there we go. And then this is a little rough. If you want to, you can put some clear tape on it. Then just take this to a U.S. Postal. I wouldn't leave it in your mailbox. I'd be really careful where you take this thing. I'm going to take it to a post office since we have three of them to do. And you're good to go. And then you get your refund. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in steps that involve tech, Designs of all kinds, making and breaking things. I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe. Because you never know what you're going to see.